Okay, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. This hotel and spa was built in 1986. It was a luxurious hotel, but it managed to fail. It didn't pan out the way how the, these people wanted it, so it failed. So... In 1908, it reopened its doors to an all-girls school later, later on. They, the, yeah, it was an all-girls school. Then later, after that, it was used to be a cancer hospital ran by Dr. Baker. Then the law found out that he was... Uh, was used using useless treatment on patients and experiencing experience on the living and the deceased and uh, and making good money off of the families so he was um, doing all these experiments on can on, on Disease and living cancer patients, which is re like really wrong to do, especially if they were really useless treatments and ripping off the families, saying and telling them like, "Hey, I can fix your fix uh, your fam one of your uh, family members or whoever," knowing dang well you can't do it, and um. And the morgue that the doctor carried his experience, his all his ex experience, is is now the source of the haunting, haunting people have and people have captured him down there, and the other spirits were. There was a former worker named Michael, who fell from the roof. In. 1886 and the nurse pushed a gurney and a female student who believed to com uh, commit suicide and a man in a suit uh, of the lobby and Dr. Baker roaming around like like this was 1908 like it didn't say like so yeah, nineteen eighty six yeah, they saw people have seen all these people haunting this place and stuff. But I get like this is this story was like really kinda of disturbing. Why would you Rip off a fa um, the family's pay, uh, your patient's family for more money just for pointless and useless treatments. That's like the dumbest thing you could do. You should never do that kind of crap ever. Because you do that crap now, you're going to be shut down and arrested for crap like that. Sorry about that. Um, but, but the hauntings there, it wouldn't surprise me because it was a hospital. It was made into a hospital and met, I'm pretty sure many, many people have died there. And I'm pretty sure there was more people haunting there than what the article said. But probably, I don't know if they failed to mention it or B, they never saw it. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, spirits roaming around and all that. <clears throat> but but yeah, so the story was a little uh, to me, but 
Hey, this is straight up weird. How people could use people and all that. But really, a female uh, and a female student who believed to commit suicide. Really, parent. Uh, I wonder if this uh, all the the school was like. A strict one of those like strict schools like a uh, Catholic church that that people send their kids to, but and it just drove her over the edge. But hopefully, these people have found peace somewhere. We will never know that they did, and. We will never know. Okay, that'll be all for tonight. But, um, I'll probably read one, uh, A, tomorrow, or B, Saturday. Because I got another story already. But that'll be it. Please subscribe and, um, comment on my channel and like it on both my, uh, Facebook page and my YouTube channel. It would be very appreciative and tell your friends about this and uh, have them do the same thing. But as for right now, because I only have three subscribers on my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel and 19 subscribers on there. So let's get up there. Up, like, let's just keep going and get more people liking this play uh liking my podcast where i can keep going and um for right now i'm gonna leave it as that thank you for watching and good night